action. So just sitting here, waiting for the glues to dry. Got some punctures here. We're on tour. My favorite Australian company, bike company Australia would be Reed. Just because they're putting out some great products at really, really affordable prices. This is a $400 US bike. I've done, you know, beating people on $10,000 bikes in this bike. So it's a great bike for the money. In general, it's a great bike. But my favorite company this year for 2018, from the product of the thing being launched, would be, have to be Trek. Uh, for 2017, 2018, I'd say Trek is the number one brand at the moment. I'm a big fan of specialized product, Giant, Tannendale. But I would say Trek have really pushed the game this year. Uh, it just has Brighton has, has as well. I'd say Bright, the Brighton 330. I use Maps, I use an iPhone now. I'm filming with an iPhone. I use maps.me, offline mapping. I use a quad lock on the bars. So everyone's, everyone carries a phone on you. So I think using a GPS now for navigation is sort of pointless because you're using your phone for that anyway. So, and you can use it offline. You put it on the airplane mode, low battery mode on your iPhone, or your Samsung, it's really good. But this is a Brighton 330, 36 hour battery life. 36 hour battery life, uploads really fast to your phone via the app. That's my favorite, it's about 120 US or something, a really good price. Charges, it's just a great little product. I've been using it in heavy downpours with my power meter, no worries. My favorite power meter for 2018 is still the stages. Still the stages, it's just, you can't fault it, you know? A lot of people have issues with like water ingress, but all you have to do is put some little grease, some white lightning crystal grease around the O-ring, take the battery out if it gets too wet and it's dropping out, let it dry out, put it back in, calibrate it, good to go. Anything can fuck up, but stages to me, Bulletproof, in my opinion, my experience. Um, unless you hit it with a fucking wrench like someone did. <laughs> so I would say the Trek, why do I like the Trek? I like the Trek Amonda ALR. Incredible performance bike for very, very good value. I like the Demane ALR. Incredible bike for the money as well. Unfortunately, you can't get 58 centimeter here in Thailand. I'd buy one today. Yeah, it's a fantastic bike. All you can get is a 54 centimeter. What I also like about Trek is, there, is how they've made the Amonda SLR the visor was triggering some people, so I took it off for you. I find the, the Amonda SLR is amazing because they've, they've brought like a race bike out, but they've made it gravel conscious, you know, so that's pretty cool. So you can put a 40 set in that bad boy and you got yourself a gravel bike. You got yourself a fast Strava bike. You got yourself a fast race bike, 7.1 kilo. That, that matters to you that much. So it's, it's a fantastic you got lifetime warranty there. So I can't really check, check uh, fault the Trek. Some of them are pretty expensive for what they are, Asian made carbon. But, you know, that's just what we're living. So that would be my favorite company for the, for the year, 2017. Giant, um, I don't think they've got a new TCR coming out. I think they're just you know, a bit behind on that because they did it last year. But uh, Specialized, new Alloy LA looks pretty good. I look, look forward to test riding one of those when they're out for the public. And uh, so yeah, let us know down below what's your favorite bike for this, this coming up season, 2018, 2017. Let us know down below what your favorite bike is and know what your favorite company is this year. I always like companies who innovate, who offer a lifetime warranty in their frames, and actually give good customer service. So I'd say Trek, for what I'm hearing this year, is doing a really good job of that. Let us know down below. Hopefully these glues are dried. <laughs>